for historic route 66. All right, we're officially going off-road <laughs> <laughs> to get to this magical oasis. Like He's seat belted in so he can't quite reach. He's so cute. We're on the ranch where we're gonna be staying and we're getting a tour. This is, what do you call that? Like a labyrinth, labyrinth? like a meditative yeah. labyrinth. I can't wait to go walk through that. And it's just so pretty here with all the mountains. That's our fabulous tour guide up ahead. <laughs> She's socially distancing, but kind of like pointing things out for what's what here on this ranch that Nate found for us on Airbnb. So he always finds us little adventures. Okay, so here's the big reveal of where we're going to be sleeping for the next two nights. We have our own little pond. Pretty big deal. I call it a lake. Swan floaty, I'm so gonna bust that out. And we're sleeping in a train car. <laughs> nice. So here's our own personal paddle boat and our own beautiful little pond. So charming. So join me in my caboose, my own personal caboose. They did an amazing job renovating this into an actual little hotel. Nate's climbing the ladder back there. There's a fridge. It's kind of an interesting layout in here. Oh, there's like a curate. There's another table. You can look out onto our private pond. There's a toaster for Nate's Pop-Tarts. <laughs> We've got a little table in here. Tiny little kitchenette. I love all the Route 66 memorabilia. That's really fun. And then if you climb this ladder, there's a little hangout space up here. So we just have a little bathroom, the little shower. The sink is only in the kitchen, but it's not roughing it as much as I thought it might be. So there's that. This is going to be so cozy. You tell me enough. <laughs> Everybody who will listen. And there's these really cool old train windows. Wow, this place is awesome, babe. So we made it and we're relaxing and we were gonna have a glass of wine together. <laughs> but I'm here having mine and Nate's out there by the pond because we were both sitting out there, it's so charming, and there are bats, like, diving. I think it's just because it's dusk, so they're like frisky and I try not to be that girl that's like scared of everything. But oh, those bats strike a chill down my spine. I have I don't see any right now, but I'm gonna try and show you guys. But anyway, we're having our, our glass of wine together remotely. Cheers. <laughs> He's too brave. Having a romantic dinner for two by the window. So I can see nature, but not directly be dive bombed by it. <laughs> the bats should be in bed by now. I hope so. Upside down. And we have salad and deviled eggs. And a hot pocket for the gentleman. <laughs> what wine are you having? Tonight we are having a... Menage a <laughs> <laughs> That sounds awful. <laughs> but it is a soft red blend. I'm blushing now. <laughs> I'm going to make the perfect marshmallow. Fair enough. <laughs> and then you can eat it because I don't really like marshmallows. <laughs> Good morning. We have a little friend outside. Hi, buddy. It's a beautiful day. I'm so excited. And I have coffee. Good morning. We had such a fun night last night. We played cards, gin rummy, and just kind of got cozy. Nate explored nature a little bit with the dog, but I was like, after dark, I'm in. I'm in for the night. <laughs> but the moon was so bright. Oh, look. It was a beautiful full moon. Oh, we have a peacock friend. But we're going to go explore the actual ranch grounds. Nate is so excited because there's a tortoise preserve here. 
and he loves tor tortoises and turtles, so it's adorable. And then, of course, there's peacocks, which DC is taking Just note of right fun. now. <laughs> hey, don't don't be mean to the neighbors, DC. <laughs> <laughs> But we're also going to take out the little paddle boat and um, have a day of adventures ahead in beautiful nature. It's just so pretty here. Mm -hmm. Got some baby peacocks. Nate's on the hunt for tortoises. So, we made a new friend. He's a very good golf cart driver, I have to say. <laughs> Thank you. He's a good car driver as well. Oh, but that's sweet. This is a whole other set of skills. <laughs> this, is, this is his first time on a boat. I don't think he's having it. Poor DC does not like the boat. <laughs> I just thought he would take to it naturally. Yeah. Honey, it's okay. He's never like clinged to me like this. It's sweet. It's kind of sweet, yeah. I'm so pretty and peaceful. <laughs> I don't know if you can see in the water there's like lots of foliage in there. It's not very deep, but it's really pretty. Jumping fish? Fish? DC's about to be a jumping fish. Where are you going, buddy? So we just took a little afternoon nap, and I was lazy and stayed in bed, but I see Charlotte's already out there. Enjoying the lake and her book. Let's see what she's reading. Can we see? Gotta get in closer. Or do you all know what she's reading, maybe? Anyway, I guess I'll find out. I can't tell from here. I'm sitting outside reading. We've had such a leisurely afternoon napping and now reading, and it's been so nice. DC! Oh, here comes the wild dog. Woo! Good boy, buddy! Good boy! <laughs> He never gets to stretch his legs like this. So I'm reading, you guys know I love vintage books, and this one has been on my list for a long time. It's called Living for Two. It's from 1939, and it's about being a newlywed and setting up life with your new partner. It's just a fascinating like time capsule. There's all these little budgets in here for how much you should spend on your wedding dress and the linens for your new home. It's really interesting. I feel like seeing kind of a portal into another way of life. We're enjoying our last sunset out here by the lake. They went fishing. I don't know if you guys did this as a child. I would always take a jar Can you see it? and go. Yeah, it's a little little minnow in there. Poor guy. You're gonna put him back, right? Yeah. <laughs> and we played some Yahtzee. I'm just watching the sunset. It's sunset so early now. I'm sure you're dealing with this wherever you are too with the time change. I haven't shown this yet, but so there's our caboose, there's our lake, and this really cool gate says it's a prop from the 1978 King Kong movie with Jessica Lange. We're having a little walk around the pond at sunset. It's very Thoreau-esque, don't you feel? <laughs> I feel like Thoreau would really approve of this trip. More tranquility. Just the sunset. I'm just trying to soak it up. It's so pretty. I haven't seen any bats yet. Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> the bats are out. The bats are out. Oh gosh! Yeah, she's not a fan. I like them, but they do get a little too oh, close. Oh, they're to like, ugh. and they don't squeal. Oh my like, god! I have such a chill. I have such a chill right now. I gotta get inside. Wait, wait. Should I run, or does that make me a target? Oh, yeah, there's one right now, but there's a bunch. I don't know why I'm such a girl. <laughs> they're so sweet. Good morning. It's our last morning here in this incredibly beautiful desert oasis. I just love waking up to this view. You see the peacock down there? Here he goes. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> so adorable, I'm so glad he got his time in nature. Every time I look out the window, <laughs> Nate is doing some different manly activity out there. <laughs> That's so cute. He's on the rowboat. So far we had only taken the paddle boat. But I'm glad he got one last boating excursion in. It's so beautiful here. Oh. I'm in here just trying to like get organized. Because of course, you know me, I had to nest the last couple days. So our stuff is just like all spread out. 
And I think my makeup has gotten really crazy here because it's hard to get ready in this face. I'm, just, I'm tired of brushing my teeth in the sink. But otherwise it's been very nice and lovely and so much fun, but I'm just so excited to go to Palm Springs today. So excited. Goodbye, little caboose. Goodbye, beautiful nature and the sweetest little pond there ever was and our little paddle boat. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> so we made again. We are on the road again. I don't think I ever properly explained the conceit of this vacation, which was that we had to use Nate's vacation days. I'm freelance, so like, it doesn't matter on my end, but his vacation doesn't roll over. So we can't just be like, oh, 2020 is canceled. <laughs> um, and normally we hoard our vacation days to see friends and family. Like the majority of our friends and family are on the East Coast and we live on the West Coast. So this is the first time we've had a vacation trip in five years where we the main goal wasn't to see friends or family. Usually, always, if we're gonna take some time off, we're gonna use it to see people specifically. Like even in February when we went to Walt Disney World for my birthday, that was mostly to see my friends and family that live in Orlando. So for some reason it feels like more vacation-y when you're not seeing people, but we love our people most of all, so that's what we usually do. But anyway, this is like a really big deal that we decided to take some time. And since we don't wanna fly anywhere, we each picked an Airbnb driving distance from LA. So that's why we were in the train the last two nights. That's what Nate picked. That was in the Mojave Desert area, basically about two hours from LA. Now we're going to Palm Springs, about two hours from LA near Joshua Tree National Park. And we have wanted to go to Palm Springs since we moved to the West Coast and we've never been. And it's just, it writes itself that I should go. It's like a 50s vacation resort town. This is not a thong that I'm swinging around by the way. Oh my God. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. I can help you. Do I need to roll up or? You're good. Okay. Um, can I get a grilled cheese animal style? Okay. And a cheeseburger animal style? And one fries? And a Diet Coke? Okay. And a chocolate shake? So all that to say, we are now driving from point A to point B. It's another two, two and a half, three hour drive. And we stopped for in and out because no California road trip would be complete without in and out. And DC's in his little car seat in the back and Nate actually ran in to use the restroom, but I'm doing the drive through <laughs> So we'll all be reunited here in a second, have our little lunch break, and then I'm just so excited to get to Palm Springs. It is a 50s resort vacation town, Frank Sinatra, Elvis, Lucille Ball, all of the stars, it was their getaway outside of Hollywood, and it's just such a cool retro town. Um, I'm just really excited. There's a lot of like mid-century architecture and design. The house that we found, you guys are going to flip. Like the decor is as if they hacked into my subconscious and my love for pink just threw up all over their house. <laughs> like, it's so, so Charlotte. So I'm really excited for that. And we're gonna be there for three nights. And there's a pool, there's a pool. We're gonna have a pool to ourselves. The pool in our building is open again now. It was mostly closed all year because of COVID, but there's just nothing like a private pool that nobody's watching you use. <laughs> and. Also, just for sanitary reasons, we felt like this was pretty much the only vacation that we would consider right now, where it's like one house, no other people come in and Clorox wipe everything down, and um, it's hopefully very safe, and we're just staying in our little bubble, but it's really nice to get out of LA. It's really nice to have a change of scenery, and um, yeah, we're super, super happy, so thanks for coming on vacay with us. Well, this is a little chain of love in the in and out drive through I know. The what car, the car in front of us paid for our orders. Oh, you're, oh, you're yes. your video So then we you? paid for the car behind thank us. You. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you, you too. So what did they... I had walked by oh, their so car nice too. Of them. They must have thought we were crazy because we're dressed in these matching pink yeah. Hawaiian outfits as we do. And oh. then we kept switching. How do you put those in the cup holder? <laughs> we kept switching drivers. So we were doing like fire drills in the drive through. So they were probably like questioning their choice of mm -hmm. benevolence there. <laughs> That's so nice. I've yeah. never been the recipient of that before. I always. Well, like, no, Starbucks. I think it's happening. I do it to two people at Starbucks. Yeah. That's so nice. How special. It's like they knew we were on a Palm Springs getaway and we needed the, the love. I wish we could find that car to say thank you. Yeah. Oh, is this them? Uh oh. No, they had a blue car. No, it was red. No, it was blue. We'd be horrible eyewitnesses. Here is the best thing you can get at In and Out. Just stripped on my dress and I don't even care. Oh. <laughs> no, it was like a dry piece that fell off. But Grilled cheese, animal style. No cows, but it's so yummy. I'm, I'm serious. Even if you're a burger eater, you should try it, right, babe? Yeah, I mean, I did get a burger this time. You did uh, get a burger. But He's been craving. I have to admit, I hardly taste the difference usually if I only get one patty. I wish we had to say no pickles. Why would you say no pickles? Pickles are so good. Well, explain yourself. Oh. They're just a little too sour or something here. I love pickles. When I first saw her, a black cat crossed my trail. Bad news and high heels made me go off the rails. But one look at her, she's oh so fine. I know I've got to make her mine. She's just my kind. Can't get her off my mind. Honey, we're home. Look at this bright, fun kitchen. Really cool. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. It reminds me of our kitchen. Yeah. Oh, look at these glasses. I was almost gonna pack cocktail glasses and I was like, no, I'm sure they'll have some fabulous ones. Oh my gosh, this place is so cute. Oh, my heart. Wow, that's cool. That is so cool. Shoot, shoot me a sugar, Herbert. Yeah. What can I, what can I fix you? What you oh. got, bartender? And now we're going into here. Oh, so fabulous. Look at this bedspread. It's so Art Deco. I love it. Oh, and there's pink curtains and a pink accent wall. I don't really know which room we're meant to sleep in. Ooh. Oh, is that a velvet headboard? It's so pretty. I love it. This place is so cool. Oh my gosh. I have my own tiki. <laughs> Our own tiki bar here. Look at the mountains and the palm trees. Oh, it's nice and warm. Nate immediately put himself to work cleaning out the pool. So adorable. I just feel like a 1950s starlet and I brought my pool boy from LA. And look at this little guy that I brought from LA. DC, are you the cutest thing ever in your Hawaiian shirt? Bless his little heart, he does not think he can move from that spot. Come here, you can walk in your shirt. Come here, DC, come here. Come here, boy, come here. It's okay, come here. I'm trying to teach DC that he can walk in his shirt. <laughs> we are all decked out in our pink Hawaiian matching everything. So it's gonna be a, a pretty great family vacation, huh? Me thinks it will. <laughs> He's gonna sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> I got my Cabana Boy bartender. Thank you. <laughs> I think you've I think you've covered it. I'm so excited for these cups that are here. I love them. Thank you. Lucky man. Look at those last few rays of sunshine over the mountains. It's so pretty here. I've got my special Palm Springs playlist going. Of course, I had to pause it for YouTube. Yep. But getting straight into the pool was priority numero uno. And I personally think we have our priorities in the right place. 
because this is definitely the right place. I'm so happy. <laughs> this is all I want to do for the next three days. <laughs> I have my dog swaddled in a beach towel. I have myself swaddled in a beach towel. <laughs> all warm from the pool and the sun is just setting and it's just so beautiful. Such a happy moment. Good morning, Palm Springs. Good morning, my dream house. I've been eagerly watching that chair all morning, waiting for the sun to finally creep over onto the chair enough that I can go lay out and read, because that is just all I've been thinking about doing for so long. And the sun is finally shining there. So let's go outside. Look at this good boy sunning himself. He's so happy. But I have the sweetest, the bestest bestie there is. And she sent me a care package for this trip, which I thought was so nice. Like such a sweet idea to send somebody, like to celebrate somebody's vacation with them. And she sent me this flamingo towel and these little, look at these clips. I am obsessed with these flamingo chair clips. A flamingo tumbler which I added a flamingo straw. <laughs> Has some iced tea in there. And then this really cute palm, like banana leaf bag. And some like skincare and sun care and stuff. So just so, so sweet. I've been so excited to have this set up <laughs> ever since she did that. And I am just, I am ready to enjoy this day. The time has come, my friends. I don't know if this is about to be the stupidest way to ruin my camera, but you need to go for a ride on this floaty. Just gonna hold on to the camera for dear life, and if we fall in, I'm saving you. <sighs> this is so relaxing. <laughs> I feel like I live here now on this floaty, and I will never be getting off of this floaty for all my days. This is my new address. One Flamingo Floaty Lane, Palm Springs. Please send postcards. I will do the same. <laughs> Almost fell. <laughs> okay, I think I better get the camera out of the pool. We're headed into town. Our Airbnb is actually like a little outside of Palm Springs. So we're going through this beautiful commute through the Coachella Valley right now and you know it's Coachella Valley? Yeah. See all the mountains like literally 360 degrees around us? Show them. I will show you. Just like the Florida girl in me is so obsessed with how not flat it is here. Yep. It's so awesome. dream house. I am loving it here so much. I mean, look at this living room behind me. Look at this pool in the window. Swimming pools at night are just the most charming thing. Just ugh, so romantic. So I am loving every second here. Yeah, I never want to leave, but let me show you what's for dinner. We are grilling out tonight. So I just prepared everything to take outside. Um, I don't know if you know I'm pescatarian. I don't eat meat, but I eat seafood and my husband loves crab. It's like his favorite thing ever. So we're having snow crab on the grill, which is really good that way. A couple of skewers of shrimp. We have some veggie skewers. That looks so good. Corn on the cob. I made us a couple cocktails. We're having martinis again because hashtag Palm Springs. <laughs> and I brought these little umbrellas from home. And then we're gonna grill some pineapple rings for dessert. And then we can eat outside by the pool. It's just a beautiful, warm desert night out there. Look at these doors. Oh my gosh, I've been in this house like two days and I'm still just processing. Ugh, look at these doors with the, the bamboo etched glass. 
Look at this room, oh my gosh. I'm in heaven, I'm in heaven, and I will be even more so once I have this delicious grilled feast in my mouth. Nate just ran to the store to get a lighter because we need to light the grill. But once he's back, it is on. Grilling out is happening. We got crab, we got veggie sears. Apparently we have random slices of bread that Nate just decided to add. Oh my gosh. But we like our, our veggies like toasty. So we got some charred corn, some charred pineapple. Yeah. And this is gonna be quite a feast. Take a look at this spread. So good. Not to mention, not to mention we have the pool. Was there something you want to show the class? A mushroom. A mushroom. <laughs> Yummy. Can you guys hear me over the hot tub or is it loud? Dinner was so good. Absolutely delicious. Very successful grilling, if I do say so myself. And now we're gonna enjoy the hot tub for a little bit. There's so many more stars here than in Los Angeles. My heart is just happy. Like, it's gonna be really hard to get me out of Palm Springs. It's another day in paradise. I'm so happy to wake up here again. I'm gonna take my coffee out by the pool. This is where I've been doing my morning journaling because I still try to keep that habit on vacation, all the more so. Mm, look at the mountains, cheers. The air quality here is just night and day from Los Angeles. It's so weird to me to be able to see every crag in the mountains like that. <laughs> like The mountains in LA are just a blur of smog. Ugh. It's so nice to be out here in some fresh air. And to have all this outdoor space and to enjoy instead of my tiny balcony. I'm gonna stretch out and drink my coffee. I wanted to show you guys how I packed my makeup for this trip. I've always been curious about these travel bags where it's on a drawstring and it opens up like totally flat and then it can close up when you're done with it. And I thought that would be perfect for makeup because I tend to pack just what I'm going to use and like on a trip, I'll just take all my makeup out every single day, lay it out, use it, and then put it back in a bag. So this way, I just open the drawstring, use everything, <laughs> and then close the drawstring. So I'll show you after I'm done how it closes up, but this has been really convenient for travel. Like, picked it up at Target, and they're also on Amazon, I think. Makeup is done. I got kind of crazy with my eyes. I I really need like my specific mirror that I use or else my eyeliner gets wild. But I'm in Palm Springs, so if you're gonna get wild with your eyeliner, do it in Palm Springs, right? And I'm gonna have sunglasses on all day until it's dark out. And then I'll probably add more makeup. <laughs> but anyway, let me show you how this thing ties up all of my collection perfectly. Okay, there we go. Normally, I you know, I like like pockets and have everything really organized inside. But for my makeup, this just works really well. Just like ball it all up, <laughs> spread it all out, ball it all up. And this is like my new favorite toiletry pouch. So yay for that. Like I said, Target or Amazon, I'll try to link, you know, I always try to link stuff I talk about. One other thing to show you, this toiletry case came folded up in this little bag. So it's kind of fun that it has its own storage case and since I didn't need it for while well, this is in use, I just filled this with like hair clips and accessories. So that is still handy. And I also thought this would be cute to show you. This is a little matchbook that I got at one of my favorite tiki joints in LA. And isn't it cute with the hula girl? And I used it for bobby pins. <laughs> And I was kind of tickled that like bobby pins are exactly matchbook size. So I'm always looking for a way to bring them on trips conveniently and I just thought that was really cute. I also love cute matchbooks, but I have zero need for matches. So <laughs> it's like they're kind of pointless, but now I feel like I can start repurposing match, I guess I should be saying match boxes. Um, 
for bobby pins. Like how cute would this be to throw in my purse? So more travel ideas for you guys. We all look at the glamour here. Cooking in <laughs> this 50s kitchen oh with... Gosh. Oh shoot, it's a mess behind you. I won't it's show that. It's such a mess. <laughs> look at this, she's making eggs in her glamorous pool get up. So beauty. <laughs> You're sweet. Bloody Marys are happening. I don't know how we got this far into the trip before this happened, actually. <laughs> but I am a firm believer that the best part of a Bloody Mary is the garnish. So I went all out. I feel like these are very festive. <laughs> we have flamingo straws. I like my celery with a lot of leaves. Like, I want a palm tree in my Bloody Mary. Olives, <laughs> umbrellas, and lime. And of course, they provided the perfect flamingo cups for the occasion here. So, cheers. I interrupt my normally scheduled pool time for this announcement. 50 swim caps never should have gone out of style. This is amazing. Like my hair is so going to stay dry. It's cute. Yeah. My husband thinks it's cute. I just, I can't hear. Like, am I yelling? <laughs> yes. I cannot hear. It's like, it's really, whew, it's really a good seal. But I'm excited about that. I got this on Amazon. So I'll report back if my hair stays dry, except for my one little jerry curl that obviously it needed to be out um i'm never swimming any other way so i don't want green hair i just want a green swim cap poolside lunch is served we just grilled up the remaining goodies from last night more veggies more shrimp more crab this is some potato salad i brought from home that i made from scratch and the best grilled pineapple so nice to be able to sit outside and eat and cook outside very Palm Springs. Well, I had the goal to soak up every drop of sunshine today, and I think that was a huge success. <laughs> so I have been out here since like 7 a.m. and just loving it. And now the sun has finally dipped below the mountains. It's it. so pretty. The clouds today were gorgeous. Like, I spent a significant amount of time floating and looking at the clouds and seeing shapes in them. Like when I was a kid and it was so, so nice. Look at the reflections of the clouds too. It's just so much beauty here. I feel like the mountains just make the view so dramatic and I could soak it up forever. My eyes are like drinking it in. <laughs> so pretty. Time to get ready now for the evening. And I just want to compliment myself on the strong color palette for this trip. I think that's a beautiful thing and yes, it matches the house that we're staying at. But I coordinated Nate's shirts and my skirts and dresses and cardigans and various things, so it's all pink and green. And that just makes me really happy to look at. It's so, so festive. But we're leaving tomorrow, and look how much we didn't get around to wearing, but... Uh, I mean, we were basically in our swimsuits <laughs> since we got to Palm Springs, so... What did I expect? But... It was a road trip, so I kind of gave myself permission to overpack since I didn't have to check bags or anything. I was like, why not just fill the car with all the pink and green clothes that we could possibly own <laughs> or ever dream to wear. I'm trying to find a place to show you guys my outfit. I think this mirror might be the best option. Look at this vintage palm brooch. I love it. And it's kind of pink and green. So pink cardigan, green dress, pink belt. This is very floofy and swingy and we have pink shoes. The lighting in here is not working for me right now. Pink shoes, so very pink and green. <laughs> here we are in the green palm print room with our palm print outfits. I feel like this is a very Charlotte moment <laughs> that's gonna go down yep. in history as perhaps the Charlotte-ist moment. Hello. We're gonna blend together. I know. <laughs> yeah, we uh He's such a good sport that he went along with the palm print outfit. If we needed to do battle in the jungle, we would be well camouflaged. Yeah, not so much in Palm Springs, which is a desert. <laughs> but it has palm in the name. Very cool, babe. <laughs> very, very cool. It's a sad morning because A, I don't have any coffee to show you. <laughs> and B, it's our last morning here. But I still have to do the ceremonial greeting of the mountain and the sunshine and the palm trees and the pool. <laughs> Goodbye, perfect house. 
my dream Palm Springs house. We barely knew ye. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, I miss you, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Home again, home again, jiggity jog. Home sweet home. It does feel so nice to be back in amongst my things. I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight and shower in my own shower. It's nice when coming home from vacation isn't a total downer. <laughs> because it's nice coming to be back home. But before I sign off this vlog, I was going to show you the souvenirs that I got. I didn't do much shopping at all while we were there, but I just thought I would show you what I did pick up. I got some postcards. Um, most of them I already sent off to my pen pals, but I got myself some for memories too. I love these like retro style postcards with the big letters. So I got some of those, and then this is like a picture, an old picture of Palm Springs. Really cool. And then this has some profanity, so brace yourself. But I thought this card was so cute. I didn't know they made cards specifically for 2020, but there were some really hilarious, very irreverent cards in the stores, so I had to pick one of those up. And it comes in a bright pink envelope, so. Then I got these two Christmas ornaments. They're, I was so happy that we were there while the Christmas stuff was starting to come out. And I thought these were just really, really cute and fun. And I actually think I'll put them above our bar cart. Look at this Santa, I love a good, cheerful vintage Santa. And look at the snowmen. So those would be cute by the bar. And then I got this for DC, it's a little necktie. I think we're gonna need to try that on him. Look at his little cherries, so cute. And then lastly, I got this compact. I know these are kind of cheesy usually, um, but something about this one I really love. I thought it was so pretty. It has that like foil kind of method. So it's like metallic and I love flamingos. And then of course the fact it's from Palm Springs is such a nice memory and it's just got two mirrors inside. But of course the best part, click. And now I'm eager to unpack and like nest back into my own home. <laughs> it's always kind of nice and I don't like to put that off at the end of a trip because otherwise it just goes on forever. So I'm gonna unpack right away and be home. But thank you guys so much for coming with us. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you managed to kind of experience some of the very necessary 2020 stress relief of a little getaway and I'm wishing that for all of you guys and just trying to send out the relaxing peaceful vibes <laughs> because I know we all need it and it just means a lot to me that you came so I will see you in my next video hit subscribe stick around and I will see you see you very soon bye guys